Let's get a quick take on the upcoming visit by Donald Trump. who will be in Colorado for events today. He'll be in Colorado Springs earlier uh, this afternoon, a little after we tape, and then coming up here to Denver for a fundraiser or a rally at Wings Over the Rockies. Patty Calhoun of Westward, I, I guess I'm a little surprised to see Donald Trump coming to Colorado with only a week separating a time when Colorado was a pretty big thorn in his side at the RNC. Well, he's got some fundraisers here, and it's amazing how money can influence people in certain ways. Right now, as this show is being aired, he's at Lowry, Wings Over the Rockies. Um, interestingly, no matter how, come how many times he comes to Colorado, I'm assuming he will still assume it's crooked and rigged here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a perfect segue to our friend David Copel from the Independence Institute in DU Law School. Uh, mm -hmm. So Colorado has, it, it, we've been called rigged. Uh, our delegates were at the back of the room at the convention. We, is Trump really going to find that much fundraising support in a state that hasn't shown him much love so far? Well, he's also, I, I think, trying to put Colorado in play, which it traditionally has been, mm -hmm. you know, for the last quarter century as, as a swing state in presidential elections. The conventional wisdom is he's a very bad fit for the state, but you know, if you're going to try to to change that and, and make it more of a 50-50 kind of thing early in the election, is a good time to do it to try to see if he he can move things. And I would say I'd credit the administration at the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs because he was he rented out their auditorium and he was going to speak there. And some of the uh, the cry bullies at uh, on campus said, "Oh no, this creates a hostile environment. You know, we we can't possibly hear a major party nominee articulating his ideas. We're too upset." Um, and the administration wrote back and said, look, we, we rent out this space when we're not using it for athletics or whatever to anybody who will come and pay, and we don't discriminate based on their point of view, and that's what we have to do as a public university. Eric Sonman, political analyst, is Trump acknowledging the, the swing state status of Colorado, or is this just another stop for him? No, I think he's acknowledging it. I think what's really interesting, we're treating this as a local story, but obviously anytime there's a presidential candidate appearance, it's a national story, particularly when it's on the day after the opposition party's convention. Mm -hmm. So this will be really Trump's first response, uh, other than his Twitter account, uh, after, after the Democratic convention and after Hillary's speech last night. So it takes a lot of added interest. I'm worried personally about our viewership tonight because I assume there's a huge crossover between CIO viewers and those who are going to be over at the Trump rally at Wings Over the Rockies. But uh, he is trying to make Colorado a swing state. It has a ways to go. If Donald Trump wins Colorado, you can be assured of one thing, he'll be the president because if he's winning Colorado, he's winning a whole lot of other states before he gets to Colorado. I think your concern is valid. Out of our dozens of viewers, we don't need the kind of competition we would have with the Rockies. So hopefully they've reached capacity So soon. just to add one point, I, I yeah. think part of what he's doing is trying to blunt the, the impact of Colorado yesterday at the, at the Democratic National Convention. I mean, you know, Hickenlooper was on around 5 o'clock our time. Um, uh, Duran was on. And, uh, you know, he likes to hit back. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to use this opportunity in um, a very Republican place in Colorado Springs to take a shot. And uh, that's what he does. So. I, I think you're absolutely right. It's great to have uh, Gregory yeah. Moore, editor, yeah. former editor of the Denver Post, join us. Yeah. You, you were on a long time ago. I'm back, so we're yeah. very happy to have it's you on the to panel. Be back. Thank you.